Tablets are pretty prevalent in society. Some of them are considered specialty tablets, specifically for artists or business and things like that. But the yoga book can be for both. How is that the case? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm Andrew with Your Tech Explained, and this is the Lenovo Yoga Book Review. First off, hardware is awesome with the Yoga Book. It has an all-metal build and that link hinge that I love from the Yoga 900. The buttons are pretty responsive, but they're in a weird spot, and you can't really do much about that though. It folds out like a book, and can either be flipped all the way around, or just halfway to provide a space for typing or drawing. Now that's the cool part. The side without a screen has a light-up keyboard called the Halo keyboard. You can access it by touching the small icon on the top corner. The keyboard is pretty easy to use and pretty responsive. Once you get used to it, the Halo keyboard is pretty easy to maneuver around, and when you aren't using the keyboard, you can pull out the stylus and draw directly on the pad. The stylus is also pretty responsive and fun to use. It's pressure sensitive, meaning the harder you push, the darker or thicker the line you draw. Native apps like OneNote are good for drawing and taking notes on the yoga book. Another cool feature is the fact that you can put on an actual notepad and switch out the stylus tip for a real pen tip and draw on the notepad. While you draw on the notepad, it will appear on the screen. This is good if you want to have a hard copy and a digital copy without having to scan anything or take pictures. You can do it all in one shot. It's worth mentioning that the stylus is really comfortable and feels pretty good when in use. Now, when it comes to performance, the Yoga Book handles really well. I never had any hiccups with the device and it outperformed in everyday tasks. It's a good idea to mention that there's also an Android version of the Yoga Book, and depending on your preference, you can choose between the two. The screen is also pretty nice, coming in at 10.1 inches and 1920 by 1200. A small complaint would be the bezel around the edges, but again, not much of a choice. It's also powered by an 8500mAh battery, which will last you about a day with normal use, which includes using the pen and the Halo keyboard. Overall, the Yoga Book is an awesome tablet slash computer and does its job really well. Its incorporation of the Halo keyboard and second screen is really cool and probably won't be overlooked when it comes to future devices. We really hope you enjoyed this review, and if you liked it, please subscribe for more content like this weekly. And we'll catch you next time on Your Tech Explained.